Today we will take a look at the best phone under $200 for this year. If you want to find more information check out links down below. Before we start make sure you click subscribe button and like this video. Now let's get started. 5. OnePlus Nord CE3 Lite 5G The OnePlus Nord CE3 Lite still provides premium features such as a 108MP camera and a 6.7-inch 120Hz display. While you get 67W charging, an unexpectedly high-res 108MP main camera and a large 120Hz display with the OnePlus Nord CE3 Lite. The flat sides of the Nord CE3 Lite help the phone look more luxurious than it is, although holding the phone reveals its cheaper materials, such as the plastic of its side rails or the glass plastic laminate back panel. The headphone jack has survived for another year, so anyone who is doing their best to resist giving up their wired headphones will rejoice. The OnePlus Nord CE3 Lite's price tag is small, but its display sure isn't. The front of the phone is taken up by a 6.72-inch screen. The Nord CE3 Lite uses an FHD resolution, not QHD, although this is still in line with much more expensive flagship phones. This Nord model does have an adaptive refresh rate, but rather than the fully variable LTPO type that flagship phones use, the Nord is instead stepped, offering 90Hz, 60Hz, 48Hz and 30Hz modes alongside the maximum 120Hz. The Nord CE3 Lite carries a 5000 mAh battery. 4. Motorola Moto G Play The Motorola Moto G Play is a low-cost smartphone. The thing you will like most about the Moto G Play is the design, nothing about it looks or feels cheap. The plastic material feels sturdy and doesn't seem to attract fingerprints or scratches. It only comes in deep indigo, an attractive dark blue color. The 2023 Moto G Play is a relatively large phone coming in at 6.58 by 3.01 by 0.37 inches and 7.16 ounces, though it's in line with previous generations. The screen is a good size at 6.5 inches. The resolution is rather low at 1600 by 720 pixels, but that's to be expected at this price. The power button and volume rocker are positioned on the right edge and you'll find a single speaker and USB-C port on the bottom edge. The Moto G Play lacks 5G, but it delivered solid LTE speed and reliability, which helps a lot. Perhaps the main issue facing the phone is that 5G support often costs only a little bit more. Call quality is excellent. The phone speakers are plenty loud. Volume peaks at 85 dB for the earpiece and 92 dB for the speakerphone. The battery life from the 5000 mAh cell is solid. The Moto G Play lasted 11 hours and 15 minutes. 3. Samsung's Galaxy A03s Samsung has launched the Galaxy A04s, which features an updated processor, a 50MP triple camera, and a 90Hz refresh rate. The Galaxy A03s is hoping that eliminating a few of those caveats will justify asking you to open your wallet a little wider. The Galaxy A03s offers a nearly identical display to its predecessor, right down to the top and bottom bezels. Both phones even share the same dimensions. The base model now packs 2GB of RAM and 32GB of storage, both double what you got with its predecessor but it does not support 5G. The phone packs the MediaTek Helio P35 processor under the hood, and you can pair it with up to 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage. You'll find a SIM ejector tool, a USB-C cable, and essential paperwork in the box, but the included charger is a thing of the past. You'll need to buy your own charger. Samsung's improvements to the design didn't come at the cost of the headphone jack. You can keep your wired headphones for another year with the bottom-mounted 3.5mm port. You shouldn't have any issues with battery life on the Galaxy A03s, the 5000 mAh cell is tough to drain and you should easily make it through two days of moderate use. 2. Motorola Moto G Stylus 2023 Motorola's 2023 Moto G Stylus 5G, a rare phone with a pen-like stylus, delivers a pleasing screen, commendable battery life, and good enough performance at a reasonable price. The device features a large, vibrant screen, competitive battery life, and a stylus for doodling and note-taking. The Moto G Stylus 5G looks fine, even if it's a bit basic. It's available in two colors, Cosmic Black or Rose Champagne. 
It measures 6.41 by 2.91 by 0.36 inches and weighs 7.13 ounces. The pixels measures of 6.0 by 2.8 by 0.4 inches and 6.8 ounces. The phone features a 6.6 inch LCD with a decent 2400 by 1. 080 pixel resolution, making for a pixel density of 399 ppi. The screen is 0.2 inches smaller than last year's model, but it carries over the same 120 Hz refresh rate. The screen does the job well enough for daily use. It looks a little washed out in bright sunlight, but it's still usable. Viewing angles are good. The phone's body is made entirely of plastic, including the midframe. It doesn't feel as nice as glass and metal but the finish also doesn't attract fingerprints. 1. Samsung Galaxy A14 5G The Samsung Galaxy A14 5G is an affordable way to gain access to speedy 5G networks while enjoying one of the better Android update policies on the market. The first thing you notice about the Galaxy A14 5G is the screen, which has been improved in all the right ways compared with the Galaxy A13. The size has been nudged up slightly from 6.5 inches to 6.6 inches, the 90Hz refresh rate remains the same, and most importantly, the resolution increases from 1600 by 720 pixels to 2400 by 1. 080 pixels, boosting the pixel density from 270 ppi to 399 ppi for a huge improvement in sharpness. The display peaks at just 500 nits, which is half what today's flagships generate. Reading the phone outside in bright sunlight is sometimes a struggle. The plastic rear panel features a rough texture that lends some grip. Samsung stacks the three rear cameras in a vertical line in the upper corner. It's a simple, effective design, and black is the only color option. Samsung also carries over the 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage from the previous model. The RAM should be fine for most users, but 64GB of space is a bit on the low side when you consider that only 45GB is available out of the box and that smartphone games are getting larger.